my day family how are you doing today for those of you that are new to my channel my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel I like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well so let's go ahead and get started hello Mayday familia ¿Cómo están haciendo? how are you guys doing today so I'm glad to be back on with another video actually it's gonna be another review another video review um yum, 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 yum. Abba and Preach they just dropped another video that I, uh, <laughs> you know what, this video was very, very interesting. So I'm excited to actually dive in. So let's get started. Need I say more? No, it's scary. Huh? <laughs> it's scary. Perfect guy. In my eyes, I'm expecting family person. I took one look at that symptom and said, she's trying to disappoint daddy. But hey, I'm not saying you should be prejudiced against people with symptoms, but you should be prejudiced against people with symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you probably should. You <laughs> just just be careful. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's just certain accessories, certain things I'm looking at. Like you definitely go to somebody your daddy gonna hate. But hey, what would it? I see a girl. Yo, bro, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not just that. Yeah, it's just, uh, a choker, it's a black neck, it's got black belt, it's fucking dead. Just, it's not. Last year, bro, with a tongue piercing? <laughs> uh, she ain't, she didn't talk shit about a church. It's like, if she come home and all of a sudden she got blue hair, I like Avatar. <laughs> I don't know that person, but you can't have good dog. I'm not saying that. I like Avatar, too. My little brother likes Avatar, too. I don't know what he's saying, y'all. I don't know uh, the assumptions that are happening. I don't know what's happening here. With <laughs> Let's keep going. No, this parent. But hey, me and me wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm not words. I'm still young, you know? I, I'm looking for some fun adventure. I want someone who, like, has, like, goals, though, obviously. But that's, like, more of the future stuff. Right now, I'm, like, in, like, you my spontaneous phase, you know? We go with the flow, see if we vibe. <laughs> Might as well throw these in the fire. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yusuf. Yes. Born and raised in Egypt, um, traveled around for a bit, ended up out here in California. I uh, have some family still in Egypt, I have family in England, so it kind of all spread out. Mm -hmm. Been here for about six years, I'm studying acting for fun, I'll be surfing, skateboarding, yeah, exploring, exactly. You know, so have you ever so find a chance like you just want to go and get packed and take off without saying anything or anything to anyone? <laughs> <Hey, you laughs> Tommy, <laughs> that accent. <laughs> I like the accent that that Tommy has. That's funny. Um, I mean, that it, the, so he had me when he was describing the stuff that he likes to do, like the surfing and all that stuff. I think that would be nice. I'm one of those people that stays at home a lot. A lot. <laughs> So having someone to push me to go out, that that seems like a positive thing, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Tommy immigrated here, right? Put on his best 90s male porn star outfit, but kept the accent on thick, and I respect that. I, res I like your accents like that. Even though sometimes a bit of a struggle, I respect it. You got the giant cage there. <laughs> yeah, he just want to pack up and go. <laughs> Like you're gonna pack up and go and get my dog up. <laughs> Yo, shut up. I love uh, that shit. Yeah, let me get it. If I ever find a chance to yeah, like take it, yeah, yeah. like a rental when you're thinking like, okay, I'm gonna go to like China and just pack it up. This is a good question. I'll take off and just pack and go. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> Why I don't even know why I'm laughing. 
my whole family has an accent. My mom has the thickest accent, y'all. And I have an accent. Other people that are from other countries are usually able to pick up on my accent super quick. When I moved here, I had a super thick accent. I got made fun of because of my accent. So it's just funny to me. I don't know. There goes Alexa. Can I, can you allow me to be great, please? Alexa, off. <clears throat> Apologies, y'all. So that's becoming a staple in my videos, apparently. So anyway, let's see what, what, what else is going on here. See, the right answer, I should say no. I would never just say without telling anyone. But, I mean, you have come to the math equation and done in English literature. <laughs> we don't want to know about Shakespeare. We have asked you a simple question. <laughs> but, I mean, backpacking in China sounds kind of fun. Answer the question now. So, uh, you, have you ever been in any relationship? Uh, no, <laughs> and I have not. Now you get it. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Wilson. Wilson? Yes. How are you, Wilson? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about yourself. So, I'm born and raised in Singapore. My parents are from Indonesia. Currently, I'm a junior at the University of South Carolina, studying computer science. Yeah. How do you have oh. your relationship with your I like him. I like him. I, yeah, I'm like, okay, okay. I like the resume. Let's keep going. Hey, I'm really close to my mom. Actually, just last week, I flew back to Singapore. Like, just after finals ended. Just to spend some time with my mom and then take picture because it's like an internship soon. What about like, that? Could be a problem. <laughs> that could be a problem. You gotta. So, when you're with someone, a lot of times you are with the rest of the family too. This applies the most when you get married. And I get nervous as soon as the guy starts talking about their mom and like they're super close to their mom. I get nervous. That, is this a mama's? Mama's boy, or wh what? Are, what am I really having to deal with here? But we'll see. I mean, the dream is like as a computer science major, it's always like yeah, nice, comfortable tech job, right? And something like Apple, or Facebook, something easy. And then like it's just like real aspirations. Like one day, like do a startup. <laughs> he went, man, this guy ain't no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's, he's looking for bitches. I think, you know, that's a respectable young man. <laughs> the only thing is the mom thing, and he sounds a little boring. I will say that. This is, by the way, y'all, this is my first time watching through this video. I just saw it come up in the title, and I was like, I'm in, you know? So I think he, um, he just sounds kind of boring. I mean... Be comfortable, Apple, whatever, and then a startup, that's basic. But at that age, you don't realize that's basic thinking. You got to think outside the box. You got to think outside the box, you know, like, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. And the dad's thinking. Oh, my God. That's the worst part of that. All these motherfuckers, like, in, in high school, all these people were last. Yeah. We're all last. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh, what's going on? Dude, I was dead last. Okay. I was last in high school. I didn't start dressing up till like the 12th grade. I was made fun of all of high school. My parents were Nazis about, ooh, I hope you, I don't have better get in trouble <laughs> with YouTube. My parents were like super intense with the studying and the grades and stuff like that. And now I look and I'm like, yeah, I think, I think I'm fine. <laughs> I think I did good. Mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm an actor uh, and producer. Uh, I'm just kind of doing my career. Family wise, I have two siblings. Uh, my dad was kind of a wild guy in the early 20s. He was a director of Hollywood. So he was kind of like kids. Most of them about two or three of them. They did real well. You're acting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad got jokes. Dad <laughs> got jokes. Shout out to him. Alright, what's the order you think? I'm gonna say Singapore. Then I'm gonna say five, four, three, one, two. I think this list is gonna say the exact same to the black eye and the last two to be switched. And I have uh, 
new faculty here, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Take that. For now, uh, let's go to you, Anthony. Yeah. Now, if you are in a relationship with Nikki, how romance are you thinking? Yo, that, that ain't none of your business, man. Yo. Yeah, I'm a fuck him. I'm a fuck your daughter. I'm a fuck your daughter. I'm gonna make her feel good, and she gonna come three times. I was <laughs> space. Oh my gosh, how funny. Okay, when when I hear romance, that is not the first thing that comes to my ma my mind, sir. So the fact that that's the first thing that came to his mind, I'm like, okay, no. Like when I when I hear romance, I'm thinking flowers and opening my door because guess what i i'm all for woman empowerment but do i want to open my own door i'd rather not <laughs> i'd rather you do that so that's what i'm thinking like just making her feel special preach <laughs> like that ain't your business <laughs> Like how romantic maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't want to see like boring. Oh yeah, no, no, 100. No. I, I feel like me, like at least my past relationship, very romantic. Um, Anthony's um, a little short, y'all. Yeah, what do What do you guys think? I think Anthony's a little on the shorter side. I don't have anything against short guys. I'm pretty short. Look, I'm five five. So five. Okay, between five four and five five. I, I thought I was 5'5 five five for a very long time. I went to the hospital, did my whole checkup. They told me I was 5'4, but I never stopped saying 5'5, five five, so I'm not quite sure. But it's one of those two. So nothing against short guys, but I think I like the height. Someone tall, you know? Anyways, let's go. Do you believe in the first kiss? <laughs> No, I believe first date is the day to get to know them. Um, if it's going to work out, if you guys have that connection with each other, and if not, you, know, you guys talk about how you feel and what should be your next step, what's the proper next step to take. So, so first you and first date. I mean, it depends. If like, depending on how the first date goes, you know what? A lot of guys, what I've found is a lot of guys are so like nervous to do that first kiss. It's probably the 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 issue is probably <laughs> my radar, but sometimes they get nervous to do that first kiss. You're sitting there waiting forever, and like the girl has to be the one to 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 take the next step, and because she's like waiting and bored of waiting. So he strikes me as one of those guys where it's like you're gonna be sitting there waiting forever, girl. If you want the first kiss, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> And also the guy with the tattoo, why is he standing there looking so awkward? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you gonna leave him with first kiss? No, I'm gonna wait for a dad to choose me. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie. My mom would have been like, I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. That's your mom. She, she would have said this guy, why? That's it. Are you looking at any kind of commitment or are you just like okay? This is tough. I mean, like, some boys, some boys, like, oh, now, <laughs> all of my friends out there, they all have girlfriends. I'm like, I, I just want to have one too. The first thing is, my friends are different about my conflict with it. I have been in relationships, and it lasted like a year or two. I'm looking for something I can see from a long distance, but, you know, looking for a stronger people. You know, no one's gonna look at that as a man. No, I'm just trying to look for a one night stand. I'm trying to clap some Asian booty, get yeah. that Viet Cong, you feel me? Nobody gonna say, I saw her. She got a fat ass. You get good, bro. Put it back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not personal, but when you're talking about, you know, last week, failed relationship. How do you think that? I'm in college right now. I'm moving around a lot. I didn't realize I was going to cause any sort of conflict. I like the nerdy vibe. I like the nerdy vibe. Mm. <laughs> Make some moves right here. And, uh, can you choose sweets, please? Can you choose sweets, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. Short kings. Short kings out here. Okay, so let me tell you this right now. 
Yusuf going to the top. Asian and short dude going towards the bottom. I would say Asian dude going to end up like black dude going to be second. Third or second. Black dude going to be third, third second. White dude going to come in fourth. That's my guess. Actually, you know what? Yusuf first. Black guy second. <laughs> bang, God, bang. I think this whole thing's in burden. Yeah, I think it's in burden. <laughs> it trips me out how <laughs> they know one name and then the other ones are like black guy. Even I did it. I said the guy with the tattoo. Who knows? I'm the kid. Yeah. For that, I deal first day. If we're to eat here right now, what would you guys think? I think the black guy's going to I think Yusuf, Yusuf might be second. I think the nerd is going to be, actually, actually, wait. I think the nerd, the nerd, the one in the hat is going to be last. I think the black guy is going to be fourth. I think Yusuf is probably going to be second. And I think the software guy is going to be third, maybe. And I don't know who, I can't remember who that leaves, but. Let's go, you guys! You step first. Yeah. That's the show. Yeah, you should about to get in the news. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, outdoors. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Yusuf is going to be first. That last guy, the one that I was thinking was going to be first, because of all the other ones not being that good, <laughs> is probably going to be last. I think Yusuf is going to be first. The software guy is going to be second. The black guy is going to be third. That other short, round-looking guy is going to be last. Anthony. I'm not gonna lie. I like Wilson, but he just, I feel like he would bore me to literal death, right? Like, I feel like if I were in a relationship with that person, I'm <laughs> I'd just be bored. I don't know. What do you like hobbies and interests? I enjoy playing guitar. And I enjoy music. And it would be anything adrenaline related. There would be such things as like, if there's a swell, we'll go out and surf big waves, or swing in the ocean, off the boat, like whatever. There's not like a ton of stuff to do in Indiana, so I found a lot of fun stuff to go do with my friends. So, like a pool. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of far. But, <laughs> but you know, so we're always finding like one that can do it. It's like a concert scene. Uh, I like to go jet skiing. He didn't even address the concern of Indiana being kind of far. He could have said something like, but don't worry, baby. Like, I. Will travel across the earth for you. <laughs> Sounds stupid, and it is, but it would have worked. She's so young. Like, what does she know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm trying to get my pilot's license. I did my thing. These are going first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Asian dude is going to go second. I don't think so. Black dude going fourth. I don't think the Asian dude is going to be second. I think that Asian dude is going to be towards the last. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. When they say the Asian dude is the, is the nerd guy. The, the software guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see Yusuf, the software guy. And then... <clears throat> I think the black guy, definitely towards the end. What makes me do staying last? Why boy won't yeah, this new dude is definitely last. The white boy is definitely okay. third, I think. Black Asian and Okay. First, Amy and Lisa Snitch. And then, and then, just sit down. Or take it to third. Yes. What? We have one. Do you guys know there's an option? Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I know that uh, astrology signs. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Girl, what are we talking about here? Uh, 
Capricorn is like my uh, like birth sign. I don't even know what that means to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I actually don't, you know, I don't like all the time. Yeah, I'm a philosopher, you didn't have a board for him. So I'm not a huge fan of uh, actual uh, office signs, but you see this before. Okay, well, I'm not even going to go. Ladies, if I can give you guys any piece of advice, and I, and I mean this from like the bottom of my heart, okay? Shut the fuck up about this, sorry. All right? Sorry. All right. Go ahead. My bad. Oh, preach, we got to work on your temper for real. <laughs> Come see me about that temper, okay? I don't think ladies understand how much dudes get so fucking annoyed when you guys bring that show. I was just looking at her, some regular girl living her life, and then she brings this shit up, and I'm just like, ugh. And I'm just saying this because you your best interest. I'm not going to lie. If I'm talking to a girl, she starts getting talking about astrology, she's yapping about it. It's a big ass turn off. It's like finding out that bitch don't clean her room. I just start looking at it like, I don't have to do it. Exactly <laughs> like, ladies, imagine yeah. if you go on a date with a dude. I agree. I think, I don't see, like, what is that astrology sign? Well, I don't, I don't believe in, the, I mean, I think it's fun. Do I think, anything more than that and not really i just think it's fun um so it's not something that i would feel like it's important enough to bring up on a first second third fourth or even a fifth date now after we're, we've been dating if somehow that topic comes up to my mind i might bring it up but i don't know i but i think ABBA is exaggerating. I feel like, oh my gosh, if you don't want to talk about it, just don't. Like, it is not that serious. It goes well. And he's like, so, uh, do you know your basic dread pill to knowledge? Your pussy going to dry up so quick. Same thing. Oh, like, Tyler G's like, yo, what are you doing? Dread pill, you're, you're how, a how do you feel about Andrew Tate? Just no. <laughs> Stop bringing that shit up. It's crazy how much it just sours my mood, but I know I'm not alone because most dudes right now, guys, put a one in the chat right now. If you guys see astrology and immediately your dick just shrinks. Ugh. <laughs> Ladies, just don't do it. Even mm -hmm. if you like it, keep it to yourself. Yeah. I like a lot of nerdy shit. You know what I mean? I like video games. I like anime. What I don't do on the first. Yes, I love anime. Oh my gosh. You know what? This is probably the advice that I need to take because I do bring up anime on the first day. Because what am I supposed to say? Like if they say like, oh, what do you enjoy doing? What are you into? Anime. I like watching anime. Have you watched uh, Bleach? Death Note? Naruto? Like, and so I do bring it up. I feel like, look, if you're going to ask me the question... And want me to just lie about the answer. Because, you know, you could say, I say, and I do say, like, going out, hanging out with friends, boring, 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 boring. All I've, all, I do say that. But it's like, if that's what you enjoy, what, what are you supposed to say? So, 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 you guys, would you much rather the girl not bring it up? And literally, you find out when you're two, three months into the relationship, oh, this is a person that's into astrology or anime. I'm not into any of this stuff. And then you end up having to break up anyway. Or would you much rather the girl just bring it up? And so that way you can have a realistic view of what's really going on before continuing on and investing more time. I don't know. I don't know. Like, bitch, how you feel about Naruto? No, don't do that. And you already know some nerd ass woman. I love Naruto. <laughs> you already know some nerd ass woman in the comments. Oh, no, y'all. Oh, y'all know what I'm Gone. <laughs> I digress. Okay. 
Started from the bottom. Now we're here. You guys are wondering why the Asian guy is at the bottom? I'll tell you guys. This is true. And because it's a bad day. It's because one, she kind of gives a vibe that her dad would approve. And two, she want to live her best life. It doesn't seem like a bit of a square. <laughs> All right, so you're talking about the future of buildings, you're talking about spontaneous to go. So who ends up first? The fucking surfer dude, like I said, and the white dude coming in second. Indiana. The, the guy with Indiana's bar and then Indiana still still second. Yeah. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised by this ranking. Oh my god, Tommy rank. <laughs> Tommy rank the dude. Oh my gosh. So this guy in the black jacket, I thought he was going to be last. I thought this Asian guy was going to at least be second. So obviously difference in perspectives here. I thought this black guy was going to be the one that was, I thought this Asian guy was going to be second. The one in the black jacket was going to be last. I thought the black guy was going to be second to last. Oh, which he is, so I guess I, that was fine. And then this surfer guy, third. Actually, surfer guy, second, because he seems like a fun, good time <laughs> in comparison to the options that we have. And then this nerdy guy, third. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I feel like I'm upside down. <laughs> I mean, like, ways off. Personality. Yeah, what else? <laughs> I put Lisa first because I like how like fun, spontaneous, he was so like, I'm so young. Use of space. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting yes. <laughs> this is what young people. Do. Not even gonna get mad at you. Want to go do her stuff? That's fine. At the other day, she was 22, 21. So I would be like, Yo, you missed out on a man who. Listen, most people at that age are not thinking about this shit. So she got to go out and do her dumb stuff and then get with a dude like Yusuf who's going to leave her behind and go to China. She should. She go, not China. <laughs> why Why you pick China out of all the countries? Okay, yes. Um, I just had a heated conversation with someone about some a related topic to this a few weeks ago. And it was... The, the guy, some of these, a lot of these guys are just low quality, y'all. And they're delusional, too. They're, you know, so this guy was just saying, I was just, it was a group event. It wasn't anything. It was just a group event. And he was saying, oh, uh, you know, 20s is the prime for women. If, if, if they don't get in a relationship and stay in a relationship in their 20s, then no one will want them anymore. As soon as they hit their 30s, it gets harder and harder for them to find someone. I was like, if that were true, then all women in their 20s, or at least most women in their 20s, would be getting in relationships and just staying in them for the sake of staying in them. That's not the issue, right? The, the issue is, for one reason or the other, they haven't found or chosen someone that they want to be with so whether it's because they're partying in their 20s or whether it's because they just haven't found a good fit which most of the time that's probably the reason why right and so he was saying well yeah like older men are always going to go for like the younger women so it's going to be in their 20s and i'm like well as an older woman in your in your 30s and above you're not checking for the men or you shouldn't be checking for the men that are wanting women in their 20s or younger. That is super weird. And that is a very, very big red flag for a low quality guy. It's low quality. That's not what we're looking for. And if that were what we were looking for, we probably, we would have probably chosen by now and we would just choose and be another statistic or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't make any sense. And I was like, no, that's stupid. And also this fallacy, this lie that like society, sorry, y'all, it's orange. So my tongue is orange. That society feeds us as far as like when you get older as a woman, your choices decline. It's false. It's not true. 
it's not true. The only way your choices can decline is if you're getting older and your mind isn't getting wiser. It's not getting more open to like the choices around you. But in reality, your choices don't decline as you get older. As you get older, maybe you might want to open up your uh, what you're your um, expectations are right. Maybe you might want to say, okay, well, maybe I'm, I am okay with guys that, that maybe might have one kid as long as it's a good person, right? They don't have to like come with no kids. Maybe I am okay with guys that maybe don't make a million dollars a year, but as long as they're hardworking and can pay their bills and raise a family, then that's fine. You know, so you might have, you, you ha might have to open up those expectations a little bit more, but the qu quantity, the quantity of guys doesn't change is what I'm trying to say. Like when you're in your twenties and some creepy old guy is going after you, most of these ragged guys that feel like, and keep saying like, oh, I'm going to choose someone in my, that's 18 year old and 18 year old don't, doesn't want you either. If you can't afford the lifestyle, if you can't pay for stuff, they don't want you. <laughs> so it's like you're deluding yourself, right? And it's like the most you're going to get is you're going to try to manipulate them because they're young and inexperienced. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't change the fact that as you get older, the numbers don't decline on the men out there. It doesn't de decline because those quality men are obviously not the men that were... You, those women were looking for in the first place. Otherwise they would have chosen in their twins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes sense y'all, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. This is a hard way like we all had to do. Huh? I'm happy she, she stuck with what she was saying she did. Yay. So I'm happy. She consistent. As long as it's, there's no astrology, <laughs> baby. Don't bring, bring don't bring the astrology. Don't do it. 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 No. Don't do it, though. They told you, don't bring astrology into anything. Please, please, leave astrology out of it, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am going to hop out of here. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.